see if this works. Hey, let me see if this works. I'm simulcasting on three. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm on Facebook, Facebook, and YouTube. Hey, hold on, y'all. I'm eating my um dinner from last night. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Nah. What's going on? I feel like I haven't been live in forever. Hey. 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 Thank you, Inez. I appreciate that. Okay. Make sure you share, like, and something else. Share, like, I don't know, comment or something. So for those of you who don't know, hey, everybody. Hey, 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 good morning. For those of you who don't know, I do a dinner party every weekend all over the country for the next 18 weeks. The first one was here in Atlanta, and uh, it was called um, – it's called Dining with Darius Cooks. I did it yesterday in, um, or this past weekend in Atlanta. And the problem was that I, I bought too much chicken. I bought too much chicken. So I was like, I'm not throwing this away. I have to save this. So in order for me to save it, oh, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Share, like, and subscribe. I'm live on YouTube right now as well. Just Google, just search Darius Cooks on YouTube. And so I was like, I don't want to throw this away. So in order for me to keep it, oh, yeah, Chicago's next. So I'll be in Chicago this coming weekend, then Dallas, I mean, then Houston, then Dallas, then L.A., and then I don't know, I forget where else. But if you want to get a ticket, there's only a few cities left um, that have tickets, like, you know, some of the lower places, the lesser, not lower, the lesser, like, populated areas, so like Memphis, um, Jacksonville, Florida, Oklahoma City, Indianapolis, St. Louis still has tickets left, that kind of thing. You can go to DariusCooks.tv slash um, store. Darius Cooks, you can't wait for the one in Charlotte. Yes, yeah, Charlotte is sold out. D.C. is sold out. New York is sold out. L.A. is sold out. So anyway, you got your Oklahoma City tickets. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I, I picked up this food saver because I was like, yo, I got extra food and I didn't want to throw it away. So what I also figured I would do is I've got some chicken thighs. I'm coming to Detroit. Tickets are on sale in Detroit right now. Houston is sold out, Putin. Sorry. Indianapolis still has tickets. Listen, you guys, go to DariusCooks.tv slash store, okay? DariusCooks.tv slash store. You'll be able to see where the tickets are going to be, Okay. The tickets and the dates, because I don't know them off the top of my head. But Darius Cooks. Dari, please type this link in, people. Darius Cooks. TV slash store. Okay. Darius Cooks. TV slash store. Okay. Darius Cooks. This is a sweet tea from last night. This is my Arnold Palmer. Listen. So last night I went for um, ramen, and you know I had the weight loss surgery. Yeah, sorry guys. Hold on, let me block. Let me uh, do not disturb. Sorry. Okay, so I had the weight loss surgery um, a couple months ago. Listen, yes, I'm coming to LA. Yes, I'm coming to St. Louis. DariusCooks.tv slash store. Okay. And uh, well, last night I went and I couldn't eat all my food, so I bought some food home. So I'm having it for breakfast. But then I drank water last night at the table. But I was like, ooh, that sweet tea and lemonade sound real good. I sound real good. I, I really think I want this sweet tea lemonade. So I got one to go with no ice so I can have it for this morning. When you fat like me still, you think about what you're going to do for the next day. Okay? So you still can enjoy stuff. You just can't eat a whole lot of it. That's all. And so you take it for the next day. All right. Now, anyway, the food saver. So I was like, 
I'm going to put my chicken in here, but I'm going to season the chicken too. How do you open this? Hold on. I'm going to season the chicken. We're going to do three types. We're going to do a garlic and herb chicken thigh. We'll also do a um, lemon pepper. Hello, Atlanta. And then we're going to also do a um, like a Mexican-inspired one so we can make like nachos and tacos and stuff. And then we'll keep two chicken thighs for tonight because tonight we're going to do Greek nachos with pita chips and Kalamata olives and all that stuff, okay? So I'm unboxing. Jesus, hold on. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm unboxing the food saver, okay? I figured this would be the best thing to do. Okay, so here's a video to watch. We're not gonna watch that because we're black and black people do not follow instructions. Okay, this is a quick start guide, how to vacuum. Okay, we need this. That's important. Okay, so this is, uh, what is, I don't know what this is. Let's see. I don't know what this is. This is, uh, what is this? Something. Plastic. Okay, we need that. Okay, this is a uh, food saver. Okay, this has something. I think you put food in here. Oh, because I'm a man. <laughs> I think you put food in here, right? Okay, this does something. So we'll, this looks important. So we'll keep these, as a matter of fact, so we don't lose them. Let's put this back in here <laughs> so we don't lose this. Okay, so we're going to have that. Okay. Also, okay, I think this is it. Let's see. Okay, this is a uh, owner's manual. We need that. Okay. This is a, um, what is this? First, this is a package. This is a, oh, this is to register your food saver. You can register your food saver. If you'd like to. Okay, now styrofoam off. Styrofoam. This is this exciting? Okay, it's like a typewriter. Isn't this exciting? Okay, hold on. Let's. I mean, let's see. Hold on, we re we really about to do something. Doc. Hold on, let me let me fix the camera. Let me put you guys back a little bit. <laughs> I got the quick how-to guide. Okay, hold on, let me fix you so you guys can see. Okay, all right, here we go. So, hold on, you guys still, there you go. All right, there you go. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. Okay, this is our Food saver. We're gonna save food. Okay. Now this has stuff going on. Let's see. So this is how it looks like a typewriter. You can type up all your important documents. Okay. All right. So let's take off this stuff. This I think comes off. I'm doing this by instinct, by the way. This comes off. I think this, this tape comes off. Okay, I'm almost certain that comes off. I'm almost certain this tape comes off over here. Let's see. I'm almost certain this tape comes off. Can you guys see? Barely. I think this tape comes off down here. And I'm almost certain this tape comes off down here. Okay. Pull retractable handheld sealer from appliance to use with Ziploc bags and containers. What? Detach sealer cap. Wait, what? Pull retractable handheld sealer. That's this. 
to use with zipper bags. How does it work? You just what is it? What do you do? Like what is this? I don't know what this does. Like <laughs> what do you do? Okay, and how do you get it back in? Oh, like that. It's like a blind. Okay, and then pull, seal. Wait, pull. Okay, seal the cap from handle. Oh, this comes off. Empty after. Is this this comes off? How do you do this? How do you? Okay. Maybe mine's broken. <laughs> Maybe mine's broken. Okay. It says insert the roll here. I also bought extra rolls in case I needed them. Okay. I, I bought extra. Okay. Hold on. Oh, here's the roll. Insert the roll here. This is the roll. I, I inserted it. I think you have to open it or something like that. Okay, let's read the instructions. Okay, step one. Warning. <laughs> Comes before destruction, huh? Warning. The quick start guide is not intended to be a substitute for the main manual, and you should read and understand the warnings and instructions in the main manual before using this appliance. Now they tell us. Okay. Number one, press the power button to light. No, press the power button. The light will illuminate, indicating the power is on. Oh, let's plug it up first. <laughs> Hold on, let's plug it up. Why don't we... <laughs> Why don't we plug this up first? Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Let's plug it up. Okay. Press the power button. The light will illuminate. The light illuminated. Okay. Okay. Number two, open the lower seal and cut bar by unlocking the lever and pulling it forward away from the appliance. Okay, so far, so good. Number three, insert roll from either side of appliance. I think this gotta come off, what y'all think? This little tape gotta come off, I think. This little tape has to come off. That much I, I feel like I know. Okay, insert roll into either side. Pull the roll forward to the white line. Oh, right here. Pull the bag forward to the white line. Wait. Okay, it's on the white line. White line, okay. How to make a bag. Let's just do let's just do something first. Let's vacuum seal the brittle pad. Okay, let's do that first. How to make a bag. Close the lower sealing cut bar. And uh, uh, turn the lever to to seal position to make first seal. Number two, I mean, no. Read, read, red seal light pulses while seal is being made. Oh, it's pulsing, okay. You cannot use the upper vacuum view window. I don't know what that is. Uh, until the red light turns off. Okay, the red light's gone. Two, turn the lever to the unlock position and pull the pre-seal roll to measure your bag. Important tip, for best results, leave three inches 
7.62 centimeters of space between bag contents and top of the bag. Oh, my seal wasn't made properly. Hold on. My seal ain't sold. Hold on. My seal is not sold. It's not right. Hold on. It's crooked. Let me reseal. Let's reseal. Wait. The light is flashing. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This looks like a seal. Okay. You can't see it, but I'll show you in a minute. It's sold. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's measure the bag. That's about all we need, huh? Like this much for a Brillo pad? This much, maybe? Okay. Number three. Wait, what? Turn the lever to seal position and make the seal. Oh, to wait. Turn the lever to seal position to make the seal of the next bag and slide just the cutter across. Okay, so my question is, if I was a cutter, oh, I got it. Oh, but wait, do what? Oh, you know what I did? Hold on. It's got to go through this little line. Hold on. Hold on, it's got to go through this little line down here. Hold on one second, please. Only got to come through here like a piece of paper, like a printer. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't seal. Don't seal. Okay. Turn the lever to the seal position to, to make the seal of the next bag. And slide bag cutter across. Okay. Nope. That's why I'm getting confused. No, red seal light pulses. Okay, we did that. Each time you turn the lever to seal to create. Wait, hold on now. I'm breathing too fast. Let me slow down. Each time you turn the lever to seal, you create the seal for your next bag, making continuous bag making process simple. Okay, but I have to slide this across. I made a bag. Okay. Okay, we made a bag. This should be plenty, right? This is the Brillo pad. Should go right in here. Okay. How to vacuum and seal a bag. Okay. With both hands, insert the open end of the bag through the bottom of the vacuum view window. What the hell is a vacuum view window? Wait, let me do this again. With both hands, insert the open end of the bag through the bottom of the vacuum view window over the drip tray. Okay, C, is this it? This is the vacuum view window. Okay, okay. Both hands. You put this. Oh, important tip. The vacuum view window allows you to easily see where to insert the end of the bag into the drip tray before activating. So I think this is it up here. What y'all think? Okay, with the bag in your hand in place, push and release the vacuum seal bar 
on both sides. The vacuum view window will close automatically and grasp the bag, which begins the vacuum seal the process. When the red light seal light turns off, the vacuum seal process is complete and the machine will release the seal bag. Okay. I'm supposed to do what? With the bag and your hands in place, push and release the vacuum seal. One second, y'all. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my god, that thing tickled me. All right, let me um do this. Okay, so apparently, apparently, we vacuum sealed this Brillo pad, and according to the instructions. This will last in the freezer for four to six months. Okay, for four to six months. All right, let's, what we should probably do is uh, let's make, let's make the, oh, I'm nervous, child. Okay, let's make the um, seasoning. Let's move this to the side for a second. Okay, so it's, at least we know it works. Okay, at least we know it works. My God. Sorry. Breakfast. Beef, beef sukiyaki. Spicy chicken saburo. The broth. Black takatsu. With a little seasoned sauce. From Jinya, the ramen bar. Okay. In case you're wondering, okay? All right, and sweet tea and lemonade. Okay, let's get some seasonings. Let's do lemon pepper first. Whew. Lemon pepper, let's get some garlic powder and salt and pepper. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get a bowl. Let me find one. Ooh, that scared me. Whew. Okay, we got bowls right here. Okay, let's let's make the first let's make the first seasoning. Okay, the first seasoning is going to be lemon pepper. Who makes the sweet tea lemonade you're drinking? I got it from the store, from the um, the restaurant. Okay, this is lemon pepper with no salt, okay? Because you want to be able to control uh, the salt content. So we're going to do lemon pepper seasoning, you know, a good tablespoon and a half. Let's do a little garlic because garlic and lemon go together well. Okay, and we're gonna do some salt. This is a uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. How can you eat the noodles? I had surgery and can't do it, it gets stuck. 
since I had my surgery March 15th. So this is like my eighth or nine week out or something like that. So after four weeks, you can get back to regular foods, okay? I got this from Target. Okay, a little bit of salt, a little more. So, salt, and then uh, I got black pepper. Okay, we got black pepper. So this is gonna be our um, lemon pepper seasoning for the chicken, okay? So this is lemon pepper. First one, okay? Okay, lemon pepper. Okay, we should totally do like a garlic and herb. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, we have lemon pepper. We should totally do garlic and herb, right? So let's do garlic. All of it. That's why I cook and don't play basketball, okay? That's why I cook. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. So weight loss surgery, there's two, there's three, there's actually four types of weight loss surgery. Two are less popular. Actually, all of them are kind of less popular except for one now. So there is a balloon, gastric balloon. This is salt and pepper. There's a gastric balloon. They put the balloon um, down your um, throat, <clears throat> into your stomach. Ooh and they blow it up. It stays there for like six months and it fills up your stomach so you eat less food. Um, there is a uh, lap band where they put a band around your stomach, but you have to go back for a lot of maintenance with the lap band. Uh, there is the other two that are popular is the gastric bypass. It's where they basically disconnect part of your, your stomach and to part of your intestine and reattach it so you don't have, uh, food doesn't really go through the stomach anymore, so it's a smaller space to go through, which means you get really full quickly, and then that leads to weight loss. Um, but the problem with that is that the bile and your digestive juices that mix with the food, that won't happen. So whenever you eat um, foods that are very irritable, high fatty foods, sugary foods, it causes what's known as dumping syndrome, which means you feel very, very sick because that sugar and that fat doesn't get um, uh, digested properly, right? And then the fourth one, which is the one I did, is a gastric sleeve. It's a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. So they cut, they take your stomach and they cut away 80% of your stomach. So now my stomach is the shape of a banana, right? So you get really full really quickly, which leads to um, the weight loss. So that's what I had. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. That's the one that is the most popular now is the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, okay? So we don't garlic and herb. Uh, garlic. I'm not recommending any weight loss surgery to you, sis. Go to your medical professional. I am not, I could barely operate a food saver, okay? I could barely operate a food saver. I am certainly not your uh, go-to guy for anything related to surgery. Talk to your surgeon, talk to a physician, talk to your doctor, and then do your research and then do what's best for you, okay? Okay, garlic and herbs. So we have salt, pepper, garlic powder. Let's get some herbs. Fennel. Thursday for lunch, rosemary. Let's do cilantro. And I've got some, what is this? Coriander, basil, coriander, curry. Uh, okay, onion powder. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. So let's put a little bit of granulated onion powder in here. All right, this is ground uh, dried cilantro. I get these from, um, where I get these from? DeKalb, DeKalb County Farmer's Market. How many pounds have I lost? Like 45. I'm at about the 45 pound mark, um, but I can tell you I'm, I'm in a 2X. That was a 2X is a little tight. It's a little tight, but I'm in a 2X. Okay. This is ground uh, dried cilantro. Uh, this is ground rosemary. Okay. So ground rosemary. We'll put some of that in there. Okay. Now, you know, I love using the um, Italian seasoning because it has all the stuff in there. 
but th this is going to be herb herbs de Provence. It's like a French version of Italian seasoning. So this is thyme, savory, rosemary, fennel, and lavender. Okay, it's got a little bit of lavender, so it's not going to be terribly overpowering, but it's going to be really good with like grilled chicken. And you can see these are the little lavender. Let me see if I can pick out one. So this is the little lavender, right? The little lavender pods, okay? Little lavender pods. I'm just putting like equal parts. That's it. I'm putting like equal parts, all right? And this, I'm gonna put a lot of this because this has no salt, this has all the flavor, okay? Let's do a little bit more ground fennel because I love that stuff, right? A little more ground fennel. Hi, everybody who's watching. We got a lot of new people joined on. Hey, y'all, what's going on? I haven't been live in like forever. So um, here I am. Oh, I think I need, I need more garlic powder. Hold on. I need more garlic. Orange. 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 Do I have any more garlic? Of course I have garlic powder, Darius. Where is the garlic powder? Hold on, I gotta find some garlic powder, y'all. Here we go. Oh, what's this? Okay, perfect. Let's put a little more garlic powder in this one. So this will be the um garlic and herb. Okay, so this is the garlic and herb. See? Okay, so this is the garlic and herb seasoning. And then let's do like a taco one, like a, a Latin spiced one, right? Look at that. Okay, so we have garlic and herb. We have lemon pepper. And then I'm going to do a... How do you measure your seasoning or you pretty much, I, I just eyeball it. The only thing you don't want to do too much of is add too much salt. Because remember when you add salt, um, you can add salt. Hold on. Somebody's trying to sell something on my page. Let me block them. Hold on one second, please. All right. Um, don't get on my page selling nothing. Okay. So... The only thing you don't want to do, I made your cornbread dressing for Easter, and oh my God, it was so good. Thank you for sharing your recipe. This is my first time making dressing. Sis, you are welcome. You are absolutely welcome. The key is that cream of whatever soup. That's the key. Cream of whatever you have, you know? It doesn't really matter. Cream of chicken. Cream of celery. This was the sweet tea from the restaurant last night. I couldn't decide if I wanted one to bring home. I decided. Okay. Mm. Okay. What I was saying was you just don't want to add too much salt. If you put too much salt, that's a problem, okay? So let's do a Mexican-inspired one. I look different. Thank you. Do you sometimes find yourself dumping? No. Uh, dumping is very uncommon with the gastric sleeve because I still produce bio and digestive juices with my food. So it's not going to – I don't really have that. Okay, so we're going to do a, a, like a Mexican. So there's a garlic powder. Let's do salt and pepper. Okay, that's a must in everything. Salt and pepper is like a must. Okay. So basically, we want to make like our own taco seasoning. Right? Okay, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Okay, now let's do all the Mexican stuff. Here's some cilantro. Okay, here is some uh, onion powder. All right, and let me go to the cabinet and get the spices for that. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Chili powder, cumin, red pepper flakes, 
Peel would be good with that, right? We have coriander, we have spicy. Let's do some hot pepper, spicy. Mexicans like that kind of stuff. If you're Mexican, this is all for you, Doc. If you're Mexican, this is, I'm coming for you. Oh, and ground oregano. You need that. Okay, here we go. All the Mexican. Ooh, what's this? We need this. And we need this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do like a like a Mexican Mexican one. All right, let's do my fave sazon, and this is the sazon with no MSG. Okay. So they have this is the tropical sazon. I get. I'm sure I got this from like. Walmart or something, Publix or something, I don't know. Okay. But this is Sazon. Shout out to my Latinos. Hola, como esta usted? Hola, como esta? Okay. All right, now let's put all the Mexican stuff we could find. This is uh, Chipotle chili powder, hot Chipotle chili powder. So we got a kick. Ooh, it smells very smoky. So Chipotle, woo. So Chipotle is, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. So Chipotle's are um, jalapenos that are smoked and then dried, okay? And then ground up. So you get that smoky as soon as you put it in there, okay? I get all my, I go to DeKalb, DeKalb County Farmer's Market here in Atlanta. They have everything. Okay, ground oregano. Okay, because that's very Mexican. Okay. Uh, uh, red hot pepper. So like cayenne, a little bit. It's going to have a kick to it. Okay. And it's going to have a little kick to it. It ain't going to be real spicy, but it's going to have a little kick. Okay. Look at this. Ground orange peel. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you, uh, Yo Camp Pal, for the five dollars. Thank you for the donation. They're don they're they're donating on on uh YouTube. Okay, orange peel, ground orange peel. Okay. Cumin. Let's use up all of that. Cumin. Okay, a little coriander which is the seed of a cilantro, a little coriander. And if this wasn't spicy enough, red pepper flakes. So basically what we just made was our own taco seasoning. And I'm sure this is on DariusCooks.tv somewhere. As a matter of fact, I know it is. I know this is on DariusCooks.tv somewhere, okay? So basically, we just made our own taco seasoning, okay? With no MSG, we control the salt. We know what's in it. It's all good stuff happening in here, okay? So now let's cook some chicken or not. Let's season some chicken. So good. It's so good. Okay, let me change this. I hate her. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me change this station. Here we go. That's it. All right, let's cook some chicken. Season some chicken. Let me get a bowl. Okay. Let's get the chicken. Mm -hmm. 
Here's some chicken. And let me get a pair of gloves. Hold on. All right. Let me get rid of all these seasonings. Sing, fella, sing it. Okay. I know you are about to clown me, and I want you to know I don't care. I do not wash chicken, okay? You can comment now all you want to. I am not a chicken washer unless the chicken is like dirty. I'm not washing this chicken, okay? I want you to know that right now, I'm not washing it. So get ready to go crazy. Washing chicken does nothing for the chicken except make it wet. Washing chicken does nothing but make it wet. All the bacteria on the chicken will still be on the chicken. Okay? If washing chicken makes you happy, wash it. Okay? I'm telling you now. Okay, let's start with the lemon pepper. Because I'm using one bowl for all of this. Okay, let's start with the lemon pepper chicken. Jeez, what is this? Sometimes wet is good, honey, all the time wet is good, okay? <laughs> wet is good all the time, and all the time wet is good, okay? Three, four, five, six. Okay, and what I did was I made sure everything was pre-portioned. That way... I'm not touching containers and dirtying up stuff. These bowls can go right in the sink when I'm done. What about the yellow stuff on wings and the feathers? You can definitely prune like your chicken. If you feel like your chicken has extra feathers, take the feathers off. If you feel like your chicken has a lot of fat on it, take the fat off. But see, these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs that look pretty clean, right? And this little fat on the chicken is perfect because if you're going to smoke this chicken, this fat is going to melt down and keep your chicken nice and moist. You see what I'm saying? If we put this on the grill pan or we saute it, this is gold, right? This is nothing but flavor. So we're not getting rid of, we're not getting rid of any of the flavor, okay? Okay, so this is that lemon pepper seasoning, okay? You don't clean the excess fat. Sis, this is pretty lean. Look at this. This is, a, this is a pretty lean piece of chicken. This fat is going to cook off. And this was what makes your chicken taste good. Okay? Now, if you buy your chicken, you know, at the, at the at Lowe's at Home Depot, then clean it. Okay? All right? Then you're good. All right? But in this case, you know, we all right. See, and I didn't put too much salt, so I'm actually going to use all that. I didn't put too much salt on here because I want to be able to use all the flavor. And remember, when you cook the chicken, you can always salt the chicken later. You see what I'm saying? We can salt later. Okay. <coughs> Lemon pepper. See? Look at that. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. Let's see what we can do on the vacuum.
Let's see what we can do with the vacuum. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. All right. First, what this thing say do? Oh, cut it on. Cut it on. Okay. Uh, unlock. Uh, pull this through. Oh, Jesus. Since we've been together, loving you forever. Okay, here we go. That should be enough, huh? Okay, like this. Like this. That should be enough. Okay. Uh, okay, it's sealing it. Hold on. The, the red light is on. That means it's sealing. It's going to flash in a minute. Okay. Okay. Now let's put the chicken into the bag. Times are good or bad. Happy or sad. Hold on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when it's time to go to the barbecue, you got smoked lemon pepper chicken thighs on the grill. Okay. Um, open. Oh, shit. What I'll do next? Hold on. Oh, close this. No. Oh, under here. Oh, I got it. Okay. So we take this. We put this under here. I think. And you hit this. Oh, it's getting the air out. So it'll take a long time, don't it? So it'll take a long time, don't it? Oh, it takes a minute. Okay. It didn't work. What I did wrong? Hold on. It didn't work.
Wait a minute. This didn't work. Let's try this again. Let's try it again. I didn't do it right. Oh, that looks different. And it sounds different. Okay. Now there we go. There we go. Okay, when the red light goes off, it's done. Red light went off. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. Lemon pepper chicken thighs. Okay, we did it. Okay, lemon pepper. Okay. Now we need another bag for our next one. Okay. We need another bag. So let's do another bag. In my heart, it's me. Okay, hold on. There we go. I did it wrong. I was supposed to seal it first. Hold on, let's see if this works. Oh, it worked. Okay, next chicken. Okay, listen, we really doing something around here, Doc. Am I gonna label the bags? No, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna forget. Lemon pepper, garlic and herb, and Mexican and spice, okay? You ain't gonna forget that, Doc. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, this is my jam. Yes. Some people are made for each other. Huh? Okay, garlic and herb. Sing, y'all. Sing it. Okay. I'm using the same bowl. Okay, I'm using the same bowl because I'm not finna dirty up no extra dishes. All right. Okay. Some people are made for each other. Can love one another for life. How about us? My part would they be like. Some pee. Oh, that's my part, Doc. Okay. <laughs> that's my part right there. Okay. Here we how about us, baby? How about us? How about us, baby? Okay, I'm getting down, Doc. I'm getting down. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Garlic and herb in the bag. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. okay, garlic and herb. One another for life. How about us? I ain't do it right. I ain't do it right. Hold on. Can you stop? Stop. Hello? Stop. Okay. I ain't do it right. I can tell. Hold on. That's why they say you gotta do it with both hands. Oh, you gotta put it up in there. Okay. 
out. Yeah, cut it out. Give me that time. Give me that time. Hold on. Tell you to my social media manager. Okay. Your body's here with me. But your mind is on the other side of town. Okay. Garlic and herb. Look at this. Look how good it looks. Okay. This is garlic and herb. Okay. Lastly, let's do one more bag for our Mexican inspired. All right, one more for Mexican. And then later on tonight, we're going to do Greek nachos. So get ready. Plus, we got all new recipes coming on DariusCooks.tv. So last week, we had the blueberry trifle with the Louisiana crunch cake. We had um, the citrus marinated shrimp with the garlic and herb quinoa and the cilantro chimichurri. We had a lot of stuff. Fried oxtails. We had everything. Okay, this is the uh, Latin, the Mexican. Okay, cumin, coriander, chili powder, dry cilantro, all that good stuff. Okay. It's all the good stuff. The uh, <coughs> the sazon, and your mind is on the other side of town. Quit messing me around, messing me around. Okay, Ooh. this will choke you up, doc. This will choke you up. If your chicken don't choke you, it ain't gonna be good. Okay. Here we go. This can go on the grill. We can saute this and serve it over white rice with a little black bean and cilantro. We could grill this up on the grill pan and turn it into tacos, nachos, fajitas, burritos, you name it, burrito bowls. Um, we could fry it like fried chicken and put it in between a biscuit with, you know, like... Um, adobo mayonnaise and adobo sour cream situation. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You know what I'm saying? With this kind of stuff. Okay, let's see if I do it right. I did it. This was like a hundred and can you put lemon or lime juice and freeze it too? You could, but I wouldn't do that. The acid in the citrus will start to like cook the chicken. So you want to stay away from putting acid. But when you saute it, you could do a fresh squeezed lime or lemon at the end. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have successfully opened and started our food saver. with uh, garlic and herb marinated, lemon pepper marinated, a little Latin Mexican situation right here. Okay. So now this goes in the freezer. So you never was any meat prepping or preparing, just asking to know. What you say, cupcake girl? So you never was any meat before, oh, wash any meat. 
Okay. Y'all want to talk about this real fast, Fargo? You want to discuss this real fast? Okay. So this is called the Food Saver. It was like 139 bucks at Target. I bought this and I bought extra bags. So listen, here's the deal with washing meat. Um, this is pretty clean. This is this came from um, Saint Luther. Hold on, hold on one second. This is my jam. This is <laughs> this is my my jam right here, Doc. Okay. Okay, it was my jam. So the thing about washing meat is that literally all you do is make the, the chicken wet. You're not washing any bacteria off. Um, you're not cleaning it because it's dirty. It's just something that our grandmothers did, something our mothers did. And quite honestly, you have to ask yourself, why are we doing that? Okay, why are we washing the meat? Now, if you if you are buying meat, and let's say your chicken is really fatty, or your chicken has extra feathers, or your chicken has, you know, a lot of like gunk on it, then wash that off by all means, right? If your chicken thighs have to be cleaned off and the skin is like not looking good, then wash that off. But I bought boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, and then the thing about washing meat is it's been known to spread bacteria all over your work surfaces, all over your kitchen. So you basically end up with bacteria just everywhere, all over your kitchen, which could cross-contaminate something else. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be very careful about what you do when you buy your chicken. As a rule of thumb, I'm not a chicken washer because what ends up happening is that once you cook anything to the proper temperature, so chicken should be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once anything is heated to that level, any living thing, it is going to die. So that means that if you fry your chicken, if you roast your chicken, whatever you do, your chicken, the bacteria is going to die. So you're not consuming um, live bacteria that's going to make you, you're not consuming salmonella, which is what chicken bacteria is, that are going to now, that's now going to make you sick. You see what I'm saying? Because it's already been killed off. So that's how you get rid of foodborne illnesses, either by cooking it completely or chilling it or freezing it. It doesn't, it's not going to survive. Okay. Um, so you have to be very careful with, with that when you do, um, when you have your chicken. Um, as a rule of thumb, like I said, I don't wash chicken, but I cook it thoroughly just to make sure all the bacteria is cooked off. All of the health studies have been done. The CDC, the this, the that, the the food people over here, the health department over there. And watch this. You still go to Popeye's, don't you? You still go to churches, don't you? You still go to KFC, don't you? You still go to Raising Cane's, don't you? You still go to Zaxby's, don't you? You still go to Publix, don't you? In Chicago, you still get your fried chicken at Jewel, don't you? You still go to Sharks and Whales and all these places that sell fried chicken. Guess what? Guess what? They're not washing their chicken either. Okay? They're not washing their chicken. So essentially, you're what, are you, what what's the point? Okay? You rinse your meat because you don't know if it's been dropped. But you eat at Popeye's. And you don't know if Popeye's chicken has been dropped. You see what I'm saying? You eat at KFC. You don't know what's going on at KFC. Okay. So you got to be careful. All right, folks. This is off to the freezer. And uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later tonight. I'll come on live and we'll do those Greek nachos. All the recipes, all the stories, everything's happening at DariusCooks.tv. All right? Make sure you also subscribe to my uh, mailing list so you can get recipes and recaps right to your email um, and all that fun stuff. All right? I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and spending some part of your day with me. Cookbooks are on sale, too, at DariusCooks.tv, all right? I'll chat with y'all later. 
Bye.